Hello everybody, this is Game It Right, yeah, not Agent B13, and welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while, I know it's been about seven months since I've made a video on this channel, or probably something along those lines. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'll put a link in the description to the other video on my channel, Thrillnet, the, the theme part one I've been doing a lot lately, which explains the whole situation and how I was going to come back to this channel and rebrand it which I've done which you will have seen from the logo and the name of the channel and that which you may have noticed if you uh, it's changed uh, since you subscribed and if you've been checking lately to see if I ever was going to make any more videos again uh, but yeah uh, I know I made a video at the end of last year about the plans for 2018 and I didn't really stick to them at all really because the channel stopped but uh, we're going to continue from where we left off and a lot of that stuff I talked about in that video I'm going to have a look back and see the stuff that I said I was going to do to kind of give me some ideas again and then I'm going to put as much of that into this channel as possible uh, so yeah basically what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be or I'm going to be showing you this is going to be a two part series it uh, probably should be a three part series because you're probably looking now and this video is going to be really really long uh, about how to make a custom track in Mario Kart Wii I said a while back maybe about a year ago now that I was going to learn how to make one I wanted to learn how to make one and that I was going to show you guys how to do it eventually uh, but yeah uh, here we are now I thought it would be a good video to start off again because it's one of the things I did promise you. Uh, so here we go with how to make a custom track in Mario Kart Wii. So first of all I just want to say, you might be looking at the description thinking oh my god this is going to be so hard with the amount of stuff I have to download. Um, it's actually not that difficult if you know what you're doing and you know where uh, some of the bugs are in the programs. Uh, I'm using quite an old method to make this track before people discovered how to do it in a newer video editor, uh, well not video editor, sorry 3D image editor uh, which you can see blender down there uh, for 3D objects and that you can make in there. Um, uh, before that there was another program that was used uh, and basically people make them now with like blender and weems S, S tools uh, but that's a more difficult yet more accurate method like the track physics work better than that I believe and it's better for textures and that as SketchUp's a pain with textures that's the program we're going to be using by the way SketchUp to do this uh, but still uh, as long as you've got basic textures in SketchUp the process won't take that long it's just if you want uh, textures with like a road with like a line in the middle it's hard to do that on curves in SketchUp and stuff like that uh, but I'm not going to be doing that in this tutorial because it would take me too long to uh, do it for you guys uh, but yeah so th yeah like I said it's not that difficult but there's a lot of software that you will need and if you're not careful um, uh, you will end up uh, messing up uh, one bit of the tutorial towards the end. This is something I found the other day. I'm going to show you pretty much because a lot of people who use this method think it's old and doesn't work anymore because they're having problems with that and that tutorials are old. Uh, just because it was a while since people put tutorials about this out. So I'm just going to show you that this does work in 2018 because most people now use the Blender, but I can't find a tutorial with Blender and that, which is why I'm doing this one and that's why I learnt this way uh, otherwise if I didn't know any better at the time I would have just gone straight in with the complex way of doing it through Blender uh, but yeah that's all I have to say really follow this tutorial step by step uh, make your track how you want obviously but follow the rest step by step uh, if it's 3D modelling if you are confident with using SketchUp which we're going to go into in a minute uh, you may want to skip to and you know how to like texture in SketchUp and that and put textures on 3D objects uh, you may want to skip uh, this but I'll tell you when to skip because there is one important thing I'm going to show you at the start uh, but yeah so let me explain so you can pretty much 
put a Mario Kart Wii track into about yeah, and we're starting from very basics here, guys. So if you didn't like, if you didn't know anything about 3D modeling and that, you can put it into about five categories uh, or five steps to making it. You've got your 3D model, you've got a textured 3D model which adds obviously color, makes it look good. You've got your map model, which is the map you see on Mario Kart Wii down in the bottom right of the screen. Uh, you have a, a collision file, which basically determines all the collisions, like whether you're going over road or grass, whether you're out of bounds, and that sort of thing. Basically stops you from just falling out of bounds, uh, which will happen if you do this tutorial wrong. But I'm going to show you how not to fall out of bounds with the trick at the end of the video. Uh, you've also got uh, so you got those three things that that's the fourth so the last thing then is the track database with all the enemy routes the item boxes where they are uh, also the start point and the start height and that is the important thing that I'm going to show you uh, that can glitch and how to fix that and how to make sure that your track is at the right height because even programs that do this are the ones uh, I was referring to that has a glitch, uh, Magic White the program is, uh, but I'll show you that at the end of the episode how to fix that sort of stuff. Uh, but a lot of the track database we're going to be doing in part 2, part 1 is going to focus on the 3D model, uh, textured 3D model, KCL, uh, map model, no that's, those two are in the wrong order, and the uh, start point in the height of the track database because if you have all those things uh, you'll be able to uh, place test your track so yeah we're going to be able to drive on this track by the end of this video but next video I'm going to get basically set everything up so that you can actually do the a race on the track uh, with proper enemy and player routes and everything of the CPUs so as I said first of all you need SketchUp uh, important, uh, the link in the description will be to the website but make sure you download 2016 or before that do do SketchUp Mate because the Pro one you have to pay for but you don't need the Pro one, you just need SketchUp Mate uh, 2016 or earlier or 2015 or whatever uh, by the way none of these links will give you viruses or anything like that um, because I make sure they don't I only use links that are trusted so I wouldn't be giving you a virus so I'm loading up SketchUp here uh, so yeah don't worry none of this there is one program that if you have antivirus it might try to block but it even says on the wiki that it's safe and that is directly from the wiki as well uh, so it's definitely safe so if you load up this it should display uh, like a blank background but for some reason, I've been moving files around sorting stuff out, so there's this glitch where it'll display just white at the start. So what I actually need to do to fix that is open an existing track and then basically delete that and start again. That's what I'm going to do for this tutorial. But what should happen is the background should load up that you'll see in a minute. And there'll be like a guy there. All you need to do is highlight him and delete and see so drag a box around him and right click and delete. And I'll pretty much show you how to do that uh, in a minute. Uh, but I will be uh, doing it with uh, my track instead of the guy. But it's the exact same thing. And everything else, everything else in this video, I promise you, will work for me how it should do for you. So don't worry about that. So I'm just going to load up a track I've already done. Um, I'm going to load up the test track. So you see this sketch up here. This sketchup file it we're going to open this and there you go so you can see you made a little circle there we're not going to make a circle in this video because i feel like it's unfair because i feel like i can show you more stuff if i don't make a circle so what i'm going to do is the camera in sketchup is really awkward unfortunately what i'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of this and then uh, oh you can go to edit as well that's how I usually delete edit delete and whoa okay 
I think it's deleted some textures, uh, but not others, because obviously that that was a textured 3D model you saw there. Uh, uh, but now it's all gone, so it can start. So first thing, I mean, think about it. What was the would be the first thing you would want to do uh, with this? Well. Obviously, you're going to want a road, and I'm just going to check that none of the textures are here. Uh, we have those, but that's fine, because we are going to be... Uh, yeah, delete... Uh, yeah, I'm going to... Yeah, delete that, so... It doesn't matter that it says default material. Uh, we can sort that out later. Um, Want to check is uh, grass in the? Oh yeah, it is, but that is fine. Uh, everything's how it should be now, I believe. Because uh, the other textures in this we are going to be using. So what you want to do is obviously you want to start off with like a road. We're going to be basically building a what you call it I'm trying to think uh, oval that's the word and there we go that's like off gonna be our first bit of the road that little thing here what you want to do is you want to get the measuring out because uh, you need to check that this is scaled right for Mario Kart Wii otherwise it's gonna be too big or too small to drive on uh, and SketchUp doesn't make this very easy so Basically, you want this to be between a thousand and three thousand wide. I'm going to make mine three thousand. As you can see that there, that's like twelve thousand. That's too wide. So, what you need to do is delete that. And basically, this is a bit of trial and error until you get the dimensions of your track right. So, we're going to do this again now. And that might be a bit thin. But that doesn't matter because obviously like I said it's a bit of trial and error uh, I could build like a background uh, first like a bit around the outside but I'm not going to do that uh, right so that's 4490 so I'm going to zoom in a bit more and hopefully this last time we should get it right so I am going to do it about there uh, and get my measuring thing out and get it to there 4000 are oh, still a bit big what I could do actually no I won't This is honestly like the hardest bit of this 3D modeling. The rest is quite simple. Um, right, as long as this is between 1000 and 3000, I'll accept it. Uh, right, fine. 2645. I'm happy with that. Um, so, yeah, here we go. Now you'll see. Uh, it's a different colour on that side to uh, this side. That's like a white colour, that's like a grey. Uh, what I suggest you do is you um, shade this red because you're going to need to flip this because the other side is the side you drive on. So uh, that's the side that can be textured, that side can't. So if you start Mario Kart Wii or and, get your and start your track with that side, I think you would just fall through it. Oh, that's what I've heard. So we're going to make this red so it's much easier to see. Cause sometimes those two colours can be a bit difficult. I mean, I can tell the difference between them. Uh, so you should probably be able to tell the difference, but still. Uh, so you can see that's definitely a different colour now. Uh, so what I'm going to do is we want a start line. So what I need to do is I need to draw like a line across. Because uh, basically each of the to create like a mini rectangle because each of these uh, like rectangles is an individual bit that you can texture so if you were to have a texture and like clicking there like we did with the red paint 
uh, it would texture all that but if I was to uh, say texture this part it would just shade in that part so that's why we need that line there for the start line I'm just going to check the dimensions of this uh, 300 and right that's thin uh, but it's probably okay uh, so what we are going to do is I think we will make a little straight away so we're going to get our tool out again here and we are going to drag here uh, right to the end and you know what I'll actually do this part with lines uh, hopefully I get it straight right it's blue so it's probably straight uh, actually you know what uh, it's not worth the risk actually so I'll just get this as accurate as I can uh, so whoa 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 uh, whoops, uh, yeah, the camera just moved to the left for some random reason. There we go. Oh, I'm terrible at 3D modeling, but all my track well, not all my tracks have worked, but the track I did since I found the glitch worked. So, yeah, right, that's pretty sure that's lined up. Uh, so what we need to do then is we need to make a, or I want to make a curve now. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the tape measure out. And basically I want to remember uh, the measurement of this so it's the same length. If you want it a different length then don't worry. So that's 2650.59. So two. 1650.59 uh, we now need to go into the arch tool and you've got a choice two point arch so because it's a curve and we're doing a hairpin bend uh, we want a two point arch so that's what we're going to do we're not going to make it that big uh, probably about uh, there will be good and we want to get it about there so it's straight this is going to be a very small track, but oh well. Uh, it's going to be like a bit of a baby park kind of thing. That's why I want... I could have done just a circle and done it in like five minutes, but I wanted to show you all the tools and stuff. Or some of them anyway. There's so many customizable things. Uh, you have to experiment, but I wanted to show you some of the key things. So 2650.59. I'll just tell, double check this is right. 2650.59 yeah so what we want to do now is we want to put the tape measure here uh, and we are going to draw a line that's 2650.59 or as close to it as we can get uh, so I want to zoom in a bit more uh, to This is really hard, this bit. Right, I'm going to zoom in a bit more because this is going to be really hard otherwise. Right, well, then it's kind of hard. Uh, Oh. Right, for the sake of this tutorial not going on for too long, uh, while I sort that out, I'm going to just stop it there because otherwise we'll be here for a while. Uh, that might actually not be quite straight, but it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Uh, this is only just rough for the tutorial. I'm not bothered about this being perfect because it's not a track that I am going to put in a pack or anything that I might make in the future but 
you know, it's just a tutorial track. Uh, so that guide point there is where you want to build your curve to. Uh, so, oh, about there. And what is what is this? No sketch up. Um, right, it's done the line in the wrong direction. Right, it's because I was it's because I was pointing the wrong way when I started it. Right. Uh, I don't know. Right. Uh, there we go. It's not. E it's not even. Uh, it's drawn it down. So. Right. I don't know what was going on there, but SketchUp went all funny and start and started not doing the proper controls. Right. Let's draw this again. Let's do it rough this time. You get the idea of what you need to do. You need to draw a line so then you can see where to draw your curve to. Well, that's literally all you need to know. Right. Where's two two six four. That's practically like six off. It won't make any six meters off. It'll barely make a difference. Right, that that looks like it's the right way this time. So we need to join a curve to those two points. Don't worry about like your track or anything like that. It's not going to show up weird or something like that. So just don't worry. Just draw in the curve. There we go. And what? Why is it still not? shading in this bit of track right that's definitely oh I know why it's not doing it it's because I need to draw a line there I was wondering why that wasn't working but what I need to do is I need to draw a straight line but at least it's straight or it looks straight anyway right there we go that that's good now so what we need to do now is we need to draw a I'm gonna do an upward uh, sort of jump just to make it a bit more interesting so what you need to do for now is you need to make a little cross section thing uh, so you could go like that oh that's done it uh, that's messed up uh, yeah it's kind of weird with SketchUp you have to kind of go that side uh, so then it thinks you want to draw up because I want to draw up now to about there uh, I'm now gonna draw up oh draw up Oh, there we go. That's what I want. Uh, so we need the yeah. The faces are kind of flipping round again, but oh well. Uh, I think that I can't tell whether that is the. Okay, maybe it's not so obvious. Right, that I think that one's the wrong way round. So I'm gonna flip it and see if it becomes any brighter. You'll see what all this is about in a minute. So, reverse faces, that one's brighter. What I'm going to do now is we're going to get a curve. And then we are going to draw it. Uh, we're going to draw it about the middle of the block. So about there. And then I'm going to draw it a bit up to the top. Oh, there. Right. What I need to do now is I need to, and you'll see what I'm doing. That's like a little cross section for a bit of a curve. I'm going to erase that top bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use this push pull tool to drag this across to the end of the track so there you go see we made the little upwards part and then what we need to do is we need to do the same uh, but downwards 
but I don't know the tool to like copy that and turn it around. Although maybe we could, but no, no, actually it'd be too risky. It will probably mess stuff up. Uh, so we're gonna have to do the same again. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this line tool and I'm gonna draw from the bottom just to make sure that I get everything. And those two lines are there, so I'm gonna delete them. It wouldn't matter, but oh well, I'll delete them anyway. Right, and then we're basically going to go back down and go back round to the start. So I'm going to change that round, and then hopefully this will be about the same gradient and everything like that. Uh, but when you're going on Mario Kart over a hill like that, when you're playing, you'll probably just jump over anyway, so... It doesn't matter too much. And this camera is so awkward. Why is there not like an easier way to move around? Uh, right, that's upwards. And then that, because that turns black when it's at level with that. So then we got the face there. And then we need to draw another little cross section down. Probably should have done this all in one go, but oh well. Because uh, it would have been quicker. Uh, that's about the middle. Right, that looks really weird. But, oh well. Uh, right. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Uh, you'll definitely go flying over that because the uh, second part is a bit steeper. Uh, so basically we're going to delete that again. Uh, we are going to delete those two lines. We're going to turn around. Uh, grab that end bit and pull it across. There we go. And I believe everything is the correct way around. Okay, so you can see that we are nearly back. Um, ready to turn the curve again and actually nearly done with this model so yeah uh, whoa, whoa 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 that's not quite right we must have got that curve a bit off it's not totally straight but oh well uh, right oh I'm just trying to get this the exact distance. Ah, there we go. It comes up with the little line thingy there. Oh, there we go. Oh, all right, I'll just do that one more time. All right, and that's uh, come up with not a face. Um. Hmm. There we go. That's come up with a face that uh, this that this time, but it's the wrong way round. Yeah, it is the wrong way. So unless it's. It, that colour that it comes up with when it's the wrong way round, I don't know why it's not keeping red. It never does that, but it helps with the start anyway. Uh, that is... It doesn't... It looks very similar to the background colour. For some reason. I'm not sure why they designed it like this. Uh, but this, we don't need to measure this time because it's just going to be... Uh, back at the start anyways uh, so that's shaded in the bit of the middle but that doesn't matter and then we are going to do one more curve to here shade it and we're done that's our track so what we need to do now because we can't export anything until we've saved is we are going to go uh, file save as I'm going to create a new folder where I create my tracks. Make sure you create a new folder for each track you do because uh, 
there's quite a few files and it'll get messed up if you're not careful so we're going to call this tutorial track and we're going to go into that tutorial track and we're going to call it a tutorial track and save it as a track and save it, sorry, track uh, and save it as a SketchUp model right so now what I'm going to do actually is basically let me explain so when you're playing Mario Kart Wii and you start up you'd think you'd start up at, uh, at the bottom but no you actually don't the bottom the zero zero point which we're currently building on you'll see the axis in the background uh, is actually the out of bounds point so what we need to do the uh, now uh, is we need to actually move this uh, whole thing up just above the zero zero point not too far above the zero zero point but uh, just just above it so uh, we don't go out of bounds so I'm going to highlight this uh, get your move tool I think it would be and you need to just hold shift and move it up slightly uh, don't go too high because it might mess up the program later and it won't be able to detect how high you've gone there's like a program I was talking about this a bit that determines how high uh, uh, it is to start uh, and that's in the bit I was talking about the track database uh, that's in that part uh, so that's pretty so a map model you'll obviously know in Mario Kart Wii that a map model is basically like the uh, track itself that you're driving around not all the middle bits and stuff and it automatically shaded in the middle bit there which is very good uh, but we don't want that for the track we want for the map sorry we want just the outline so that's what a map model would basically be a bit like that just the outline so we are going to and you need a program or an, a plugin called obj exporter and i'm actually going to do a separate tutorial of how to uh, install that because it's a while since in fact let's let's uh win uh uh, default well, right, we don't want any of that maybe it'll be in preferences uh, extension so what you want to do is you got the obj export so what yeah this is what you do uh, basically you go uh, preferences and then you go uh, into uh, your extensions and basically what you do in here in preferences is basically you uh, install the extension and you find the file that I'll put a link to in the description that's how you do it I couldn't quite remember because it's ages since I've done it uh, but that's how you do it now it's quite uh, self-explanatory anyway let's save this uh, model so you've got this thing here it says OBJ exporter uh, you won't be able to save this uh, if it if you didn't have the extra plugin or extension as to call it uh, so what we're going to call this is track uh, dot obj and do we want to export uh, the text to pdf no we don't uh, sorry png because uh, we don't need that so I'm basically I'm going to shade that bit in the bot middle now so what we need to do now is create like an outline around the track uh, like some grass obviously there's going to be grass in the middle uh, but to do that we need to we're going to go for a polygon you could do a circle as well and sometimes this messes up uh, but you need an outline uh, around your track uh, something like that and oh it's messed up all the textures oh dear uh, I'm just going to flip them over you know what I'll do is I'll flip them over and I'll Come back to you guys in a minute when I'm done. All right, guys. As you can see, I've not flipped the textures back over, and that is because I've just remembered we need to do another uh, polygon around the outside because uh, we need that an out of bounds area. That's going to be like normal grass, like in case you drive off. Uh, probably give them a bit too much room, but yeah, we're going to do a little out of bounds area. 
Uh, so we're going to make that about that big. We don't want to make it too big. And as you can see, it's flipped everything back over again, uh, which is nice and handy. So, uh, basically part one and part two of the track are now done. Now ready to start texturing. So, I've already made a few textures, but I do need to make another one. Uh, so I'll be able to show you how to do that. I'm also going to extract something uh, from an original Mario Kart Wii file and SZS file. Now, SZS is when you can basically combine all the steps I mentioned you. Uh, so the texture track model, not just the track model alone, because you don't need that. Uh, the map model, the uh, K, uh, KCL, KMP, all that combines into an SLS file, which is basically your track, pretty much. Uh, so, yeah, and it's a bit difficult to see down there. So if you click there, uh, you click on your texture, you get a paint tool, and then you just click on your track. So. Uh, uh, I'm literally using uh, a completely black texture uh, because, uh, like I said, if you have a road with a bit in the middle, it's really awkward to do that on uh, SketchUp. It's kind of complicated. Uh, so I think it's better for you for SketchUp. On Blender you could do that, but for SketchUp just use a, a, a blank colour for the road or maybe a bit of dirt that doesn't have like lines through the middle to, uh, to do that. Uh, I'm going to show you how to like scale textures and stuff in a minute. So you see the grass I had before? Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, this uh, you can use to uh, basically make the two uh, outlines uh, or grass sections because this is like grass from Mario Kart. Uh, so you can see there that I made like the two bits like their grass a bit around the outside and uh, the bit in the middle and then I'm going to do the outside bit uh, uh, in a darker colour of the same texture because you can do that uh, so now we're going to go on the start line and I'm going to show the edit menu if you go on the edit tab uh, you can uh, change the texture uh, so right there you see uh, so 300 by 300 meters uh, yeah my start line's a bit small so I'm gonna do 150 by 150 uh, also these have to be round numbers uh, no decimal points uh, otherwise it will mess up the texture so I'm, I think my grass was a round decimal round number but I'll check in Actually, I'll check now. Uh, is it a round number? Uh, Not point uh, one. So I might. No, I'm not going to change it because I'm messing around. With it. it might look a bit weird on the game, but uh, yeah, you need to make sure those are round numbers. It's my fault for getting to check. I don't want to uh, change it because it might confuse the KCL thing. Uh, what I'm going to do now. Uh, yeah, it might confuse the KCL thing. Can we have an extra texture? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to shave that in, and that's actually pretty good for a start line. I might scale it up a bit uh, for the sake of showing you guys and to make it look a bit better, but mainly for the sake of showing you guys. Uh, but yeah, I don't have much of an issue with that start line. So uh, you need to go texture position. And somewhere there should be some uh, basic colour pins. Don't use the yellow one because it will completely mess up your texture. Uh, we're going to use the blue one. You can use any of the others. So uh, the red one uh, moves it. The green one uh, scales. And the blue one uh, scales again. So we're going to... Uh, Right, forget that. That looks awful. Ah, oh. right. There we go. Start again. Right. I think we should use the red one because that one uh, started rotating. It, the controls are really weird in SketchUp. It's not ideal at 
ideal at all. Even though it says positional, you can scale it, as I just said. But I point that out, and that's making it go weird as well. Right. I will. I will do the rotating. In that case. Okay. Uh. Oh no, I don't want. I don't want to move the pin. Uh, oh, that's that's moving it. Whoops. Uh, where do we want it? Oh. Right, I might have to just uh, do it like this and do the best job I can. I probably made it look a bit worse, but oh well. Uh, you know what? Let's let's um. Let's try that again. It's really awkward the controls in SketchUp. Oh, there we go. Um. Okay. Yeah, I might just uh, move it a bit smaller. Sorry about this, guys. Um. We're nearly done with this uh, SketchUp anyway now, as you can probably guess. Right, there we go. I'd leave it at that. Um, not, not doesn't look as good as it could be. Uh, but yeah, you see, see this bit around the outside? That's going to be out of bounds. So we won't be able to drive out of that area. Um, uh, so basically, we need another texture. I'm going to do some darker grass, basically. Because uh, that's what a lot of people do for out of bounds, that sort of thing. Uh, so I need to create and uh, select and then create a texture. So uh, we're going to call this out of bounds grass. Uh, oh, we'll call it O U B grass. And then what we need to do is I'm going to get the grass texture I had. I'm going to show you how to uh, get textures in a minute because as you can probably tell these are from real tracks. Um, so textures. Uh, where did I, where do I put my textures? I go uh, uh, track textures, and then I've got all sorts in here. I uh, probably can recognise the Bowser Castle three uh, walls. But I'm going to. Oh, that's at 150. That actually looks good. So I'm going to make this a bit darker. Like that color. Press OK. And it should automatically be selected. So we should. Oh no, it's not. It's not automatically selected. Okay. Um, I'll just go into the paintbrush. Oh, there we go. It's sorted now. So as you can see, uh, that's a bit darker. It looks a weird colour, but it doesn't matter. Uh, so I'm going to file and save again. It does have an auto-save feature, but I'm not going to risk anything. Uh, right. Oh, um, whoops, save. There we go. So, uh, what we need to do now is, as you can see, the walls of that ramp aren't, uh, aren't textured. So, they'll just probably not even appear or appear white. I'm not sure, one of the two. So, what we need to do now is we need to get ourselves a texture uh, we need to extract a texture from the SSS file because I'm and I'm going to use the one that I'm going to be replacing for this uh, which is Luigi circuit so uh, going to games uh, Mario Kart uh, oh custom forget I keep forgetting I have to go in there uh, and then we are going to go into are uh, all these in the wrong order what is that all about um tracks 
it's going to be original Mario Kart Wii tracks. Okay, so we are using a beginner course uh, for this uh, track, and that is going to be a track. I'll explain it later, but uh, for now, what you need to do is copy it into the folder you're keeping your track. Uh, because that's essentially going to be uh, your track in the end. You're basically going to be replacing uh, tracks in there, uh, replacing bits in there to form your new track, including all the models and stuff. You could make it from scratch, but if you miss a bit of an SNS file, the game will freeze, so you need to be careful of that, and we'll talk about that in a bit. So, what you need to do now is so you need two more programs for this i told you you need a lot you need something called sns explorer and and uh, b r r e s editor so sns explorer what you need to do right click uh open with sns tool uh that's basically another name for sns explorer it's the same thing uh, so that's going to open up what you need to do now is go into this bit with the dot see the course model there, that's the course model for Luigi Circuit uh, click on there and uh, you'll see right what should we use maybe I should have used a different texture you know what let's just uh, probably there's not really anything in here for what I wanted to do except for I think there is a wall there is that thing uh, so you see the block wall there that's what we're gonna extract uh, for the wall for the ramp uh, so as you can see there uh, one important thing uh, is that when you save these textures and when you make your own text of the track like I've shown you a couple really important you save it as 2 to the power of something so I'm going to put some powers up on the screen so 2 to the power of 0 is 1 2 to the power of 1 is 2 uh, 2 to the power of 2 is 4 so how you work it out if you don't know the power the uh, indice at the top you basically do 2 times that many so if it's 2 to the power of 6 you'll do 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 uh, whatever so basically the numbers you're looking for is like 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024, 2048 onwards. Uh, then the 2 to the power of something numbers in the sequence. So they're basically like uh, the uh, binary numbers if you know what I mean. Some of you won't. Uh, also it has to be a bitmap. Uh, no other compressed bitmap format, a standard .bmp bitmap, uh, because uh, that's just how the real ones look, and it will look weird. It won't look right if you don't have that. I think maybe shadows won't be there or something like that. I've heard. Uh, they're the. Uh, it won't be as good quality if you don't save it as a bitmap. Uh, so te track textures. Uh, we're gonna call this. Uh, ramp wall which is not on it in the actual circuit that's around the sides of the circuit but for this it doesn't matter so this is BRE BRES editor which we've opened up we can close that down now and we can uh, go back to uh, SketchUp and now we need to import its texture uh, so we're going to create new uh, we're going to create a uh, and it's going to be called ramp wall and we are going to I think maybe we should do it as like the dimensions of the thing so what's this again 256 uh, uh, across time oh it's uh, scaled it for us which is a good thing so what we can do is this might look really weird ah uh, that look that looks awful right fine it's only the wall for it's it's made it like that that's not uh, right in any ways but uh, uh the wrong way around as well uh right what I'll try and do is 
What does it look like on this side? Uh, right, they're the right way round on that one. Uh, but they are the wrong way round on that one. So I may try and rotate this 180. It's a shame there's no like shortcut to do this. Because it would make things so much easier. Uh, right, texture. Position. Uh, what pin is it we need? Uh, I think it's green to rotate. Uh, I don't think we can. Right. Right, fine. It, it's not right, but doesn't look like we can rotate that, which is kind of a shame. Uh, it's just sketch up. Alright, forget that. Uh, at least you know how to extract textures. It doesn't look like we can rotate this because of the stupid way it's been done. But, oh well. Uh, but, so with that being done, we have now finished our track. Uh, so, what we can do now is we can do a quick file and save of the track. And quick. Uh, 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 and then we can export this as our track. Uh, OBJ exporter. I called the other one track. Ah, uh, right. That is a map. Got OBJ. Oh dear. And it now says map. OBJ, but oh well. Uh, track. OBJ will be this one. Um. Oh, but it thinks that it right map. I'll change that map dot obj map dot mtl. Uh, tutorial track. Uh, track dot track dot obj. We can now call this now. Track. Oh, I'm just checking uh, track dot obj. Right, that's now sorted. Yes, this time you do want to export all textures to PNG. Right, so one more thing. Uh, I'll show you why we're doing this later, but we actually need to copy our track and basically paste it and then save it again. Uh, I'll, I'll explain why later. It's one of the glitches I was talking about with the programs. Uh, but uh, yeah, it'll all make sense in a bit. So you want to copy. Then you want to paste. Drag it over and place it next to it. About right there. Right, now uh, export again. Uh, as an OBJ. Right, uh, so this is going to be called Big. Save that. Uh, don't need to export textures, I don't believe. Oh, maybe. No, I've, actually, I think we, we do. Yeah, now I remember we do. Because uh, otherwise, it. Of course, we need to export textures, and it's not going to work otherwise. Right, ignore that, guys. We do need to export. Uh, the textures for the big, uh, bigger uh, OBJ. It says an MTF as well. I'm not sure what that is for. Um, but yeah, I want to delete. I'm gonna delete everything associated with big, and then I'm gonna save that again. Uh, so, oh. Uh, export exporter uh, uh, ignore that uh, notification in, in the box um, of the screen that's been doing that for me for ages and not sure why big.obj 
Export it. Yes. Right. We're done. We don't need to save our SketchUp because we don't actually need that other SketchUp file. Right. Now, part uh, part one, uh, the 3D model. Part two, the textured model. And part three, the map are done. We are now into uh, the uh, KCL. But first, we need to convert our um, 3D models to a different format. Well, the track and the map, not the big. Uh, the other two are fine. Uh, it's, yeah, um, it's just the other two. Right. What you want to do is going to be our re SE editor. This is what we were in before. File new and then go to file, import, wavefront OBJ. Uh, select your track OBJ first or whatever. Uh, right. Back oh, I've saved um, the map in the wrong place. Oh, oh that's just because. Actually, I'm not. That's for something else I was doing. Uh, ignore that. Go into a uh, tutorial track or the folder that you have. Uh, go to your track and make make sure to select course model. Uh, basically, this is another three D model for low materials must be on should be ticked automatically. Uh, so basically, what you need to do now import. There are all our textures, so let's just check we got them all. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, that's default material, don't worry about that. Uh, we've got the road, we've got the grass, we've got the start line, we've got the outer bounds grass, and we've got the wall that didn't work. But everything's there. File, save as. Uh, you could call this a uh, track again. It doesn't matter what you call it. Uh, but save. Now you want to come out of that and go straight back in uh, to do the map, as we need to do the same with the map. Uh, so again, file. Oh, file new file. Uh, import wavefront OBJ. Click here. This time select your map, select map model, import, and there we go, uh, it's, it looks very similar, but this time we have no textures which you would expect. Save as, map, and then B-R-R-E-S. There we go, so we're done in there, exit out of there. Now, what you need to do is, uh, oops, uh, you, remember that... Um, thing I showed you before with the beginner course and we copied it and opened it up and everything like that. Uh, what you need to do is you now need to re locate that because we're going to replace the model files with the course we made so uh, instead of Luigi circuit there we're going to have the course we made there. So what you need to do tutorial track or whatever uh, open with uh, no we don't want to open the BRRES we want to open a beginner course if you just click it will open up with SSX Explorer or SSS tool whatever you want to call it automatically go to course model uh, down here click on the dots that's the one we opened before and we're now going to hit replace because uh, we are going to uh, change it to the one we just uh, converted to BRRES so tutorial track track that is now replaced. See the map down here. Don't don't mess with any of those there. You might be able to. It's like all the flags and stuff on Luigi Circuit. You might be able to get rid of that, but I wouldn't risk doing it. Right. So there we go. Now we need to save and come out of there. So we've replaced the models. Oh, but one more thing. No, we don't need to come out of there. Right. This is the KCL here, which we're now going to be changing. Remember, I said about uh, the. Uh, track file uh, with the uh, all the collisions. You need to double click here. And what we now need to do is we now to cha need to change the Luigi circuit uh, OBJ that this is being based off. Uh, yeah, not the BRRES. This is uh, OBJ. It's basing this off uh, to the track. 
Uh, but the, you want to have uh, the big one for this uh, because there's a glitch with the uh, K, uh, SSS modifier which we're going to be using for the next bit uh, where if it's not bigger than a certain size, if it's not bigger than your actual file or something bigger than the reach, it uh, like freezes so you have to copy it twice. It, I don't know why it just works that way. Just follow this and it will work for you. Uh, that's often a bit where people slip up on the modifier. So select big. Um, is all that fine? All that, all that is fine. Import. Uh, ignore all that. Uh, basically, SZS uh, Explorer has its own KCL maker, but it's very glitchy. So don't use that. Just save it uh, so that OBJ in that KCL file is saved. Uh, exit save and there you go uh, close that down so now I need to open the beginning course SRS and SRS modifier but for some reason uh, there's a glitch with the uh, shortcut on my desktop and it won't give me an option to open so I'm gonna have to go where the exact uh, program is stored and it's it, don't worry because it's just here in Mario Kart Wii so I'm gonna scroll down uh, Find uh, SLS modifier. Uh, where's SLS? Uh, SLS. Uh, right, where is the modifier? Right, let me do a quick search. It was there before. Ah, I think I um, I think I know. It's in. It's in here. Scroll down. There's been weird things going on. I've been moving files around and sorting my files out. So, it's weird. There's SRS modifier. You could go open with SRS modifier. That should work for you, but uh, for some reason for me it doesn't. And no, 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 not Audacity. Well, I want you to be able to see what I'm doing here. Right, here we are. So now we're going to go File, Open, Find your. Uh, Begin a course as uh, in your uh, folder for your track. Uh, there we go. So now you want to click here, you want to go into the dot, you want to click that. Uh, course model dot B R R E S, click into that. Uh, go into the 3D model course. Click double click that, and you may be able to see your track, but we can't. Um, yeah, it's on one. Let, let's go to 80. I'm going to make sure it's there. Uh, there we go. It's there. Zoomed in really far. So the track's definitely there. So we got this far. Uh, there you go. Right. So these are all our materials. Now you can see there's something there. And it's not always there. But it is for me now. Uh, that says default material. Do not texture the default material. It will mess everything up. So you want to deselect that. What's selected there in blue is the stuff that you are going to make your KCL file for. So what you want to do is you want to deselect that default material and just leave all the textures you're going to use. So all of those now are the ones you want to use. So when you've sorted that, I'll go to Tools, Create KCL. Uh, there's your road, road zero. That is fine. So basically, these, these values here in the hex and the variant value they det and the menu there they determine what texture you have so there's like 20 different ones possibly for each one maybe 10 and you see the road there that, that's like a category and then that's next box next to it's the subcategory and then it converts it to hex uh, on the ends but you don't need to learn hexadecimal you don't need to know anything about hexadecimal to do that uh, I do know about that but you don't need to so don't worry so road 0 is like normal road like on Luigi's circuit which is what I, what I want my road to be so leave that as it is grass is going to be off road variant 4 uh, you just click in there and type your number now, start line is also going to be road zero, because uh, that's always like that. Uh, out of bounds grass is going to be, it's going to be solid four, and then I'm going to have to look that one up on the wiki. 
I'm going to put a link to the wiki in the description where you can find all the values for these. So you want solid fall. You don't want like out of bounds. Uh, otherwise he'll fall through the floor. Your uh, character or she will fall through the floor. Uh, so if you want like out of bounds and then you, to respawn, uh, that's what you need to do. Uh, just uh, ignore that there. Uh, so I'm going to type in KCL values. Mario Kart Wiki. There'll be a link to this exact page in the description. Like I said, everything's in the description. I forgot to say SSS modifier will be, but it will. Um, so, right, we just need to scroll down now and find the one we want. So we've got weak off road, we've got off road, heavy off road. Uh, right, where will it be? Uh, so it's going to be solid four or something. I'll figure out what it is. Uh, solid four uh, default sand underwater unknown eyes to grass. So solid four five because uh, that material is grass. Uh, so we want grass. It, so that'll do it as if it was grass. It wouldn't matter if you chose any of the others, but because it's grass, you want grass really. Uh, so that is going to be solid four five. And then you see those like A0 in brackets, not all of them are listed, so you just have to figure out the ones uh, that's going to you. So actually you do need to know hexadecimal, basically 0 to F, F is 15, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F. So A is 10, B is 11, C is 12, D is 13, E is 14, and F is 15. Uh, this last one, uh, the ramp wall. Uh, ramp wall is going to be a normal wall, so I believe that is listed somewhere. Wall, and that's just zero. Now click OK. Uh, don't worry about that. That's nothing to worry about. Now what you want to do is save this. Then you're going to close that because the KCL is made now. And then you're going to save your SNS file here and there you go uh, I'll just double check that saved there's something looked a bit weird save right it's just it's something appears there close that there you go right one more thing before we get onto the track database four out of five things are done now like I said the majority of the track database will be done in video two but we are going to do the stuff in video one that means that you can uh, play your track or give it a play test to check that everything works. So we're going to find our um, uh, thing again. And I don't know why I uh, didn't stay in that folder. Uh, tutorial track, beginner course, there we go. Uh, open it again in SLS Explorer. You want to re-import uh, the course model because apparently if you don't it messes stuff up. So we're going to replace the course model quickly with our track. Uh, save it. Right now, time for the course database. Uh, what we need to do, and I don't know why I just went out of that then, I'm getting ahead of myself. So we need to export, you see the KMP file there. I told you guys that the course database would be a KMP. Uh, you need to export it because we need to basically uh, open that in a different program. Uh, so export, what that will do is basically save it to our system. Just leave that as course. Uh, save again. Uh, just to make sure I save every step in case anything goes wrong. Right. Uh, you need a program for this called KMP Cloud. That's also in the description. I told you there'd be a lot of programs. Sorry about that, guys. There was a small technical problem there, so just had to start recording again. Now it's all sorted now. So. Uh, like I was saying, uh, we need to go to Magic Y, uh, not Magic Y, sorry, uh, KMP Cloud. When you're in KMP Cloud, 
uh, you want to go file open. Remember I said about uh, the, you know, uh, doing the database with uh, KMP and all that. Well, uh, here we are. So we need to set the start point and the uh, height and the rotation of the start point. If that's not already right, uh, so you can see the height there, 470. That's like the zero zero point in SketchUp, uh, where you just continuously fall out of bounds if that's done wrong. Now this is probably the most difficult bit because there is a bit of a glitch which I'm going to show you around. Uh, but this is actually the most difficult bit um, and the bit that if you do it wrong, if you do the height wrong, uh, nothing will work basically because no you won't be able to even get onto your track. And what is going on? What is going on here? Uh, find uh, I just accidentally clicked uh, some thing that caused that uh, message to appear there I didn't stop st uh, spot straight away uh, go to uh, here uh, browse select and this is basically so we can see it because you'll see there's like a dot and you'll see you'll have seen there's a dot and before well uh, actually you might not have seen it depends if I clicked on the right thing but uh, yeah, there's a dot, and basically this is so you can see where you're putting your start point because otherwise you can't see it basically because uh, that you this uh, uh, 3D model doesn't isn't there unless you go into view and uh, like background OBJ uh, and view that uh, default material. Don't worry about that. Uh, that can be that. We just need to make it stand out so we can see the start line. So. That's the grass as it is. Right, that's the start line. So we want to make that. Uh, we're going to make that black. And what color did we make the road? Let's check in. Uh, that's default. That's right black. Um, right grass. That's fine. And that is also fine. Right, click import. There it is. Uh, our track right there. Uh, so yeah, the grass wasn't a very smart idea, but uh, let's move the start point there. At least we can see the actual black dot. I've had trouble with that before. Uh, all right, this is. Oh, right. I just move that to the center. There we go. Zoom in. Uh, just so we make sure we get this right uh, so you probably want to have it about there maybe uh, for you edit rotation uh, to, to check that rot rotation is right it is so what we can do is we're now ready to set the height which is the final thing we have to do and then we can set it up ready to play test so you need a program called Magic Wine, you also need Python. Make sure you get Python 2.7. The ones I link in the description are the right ones that you need. I think Python 2.7 just straight up downloads anyway. Uh, so you need a program called Magic Y. I'll just make sure I'm, nothing's running. No? So, uh, basically, what this is, is this uh, sets the height of the starting point. So it, Basically, what happens is it has like a point that it like drops them really high up. Imagine that, and then it, when it as soon as it hits a surface, uh, that uh, is the point we need. It uh, that's the right height. Uh, so, uh, say you had, uh, but if you have a ceiling, it would hit the ceiling first. So what you'd have to do for that is like go back into your 3D model uh, after you and uh, and just not do the ceiling first. Uh, set all this up. And then go back into your 3D model, do the ceiling, uh, replace the model uh, back in the SLS Explorer, uh, and then you'd be done. Uh, you wouldn't have to do any other bits like KCL or getting or anything. So what you need to do, open this up, select your OBJ, because uh, it will ask you for one, and it needs one. Select your track. Uh, scale. Uh, not sure really what that is, but we've not done anything to it. If in doubt, I've heard you just put one. So I'm going to put one. This script is now running, but there's a bit of a glitch. If you don't seem to wait long enough, 
uh, it will not work properly, it won't save. So what I'm going to get you to do is, we've probably waited long enough for about a couple of seconds. Uh, we'll do it now. Uh, there we go, 2661, you can see that's changed. Uh, what I'm going to do though, is I'm going to get you to copy the number just in case, because if this hasn't worked, we don't need to run Magic Y again, we can just uh, uh, go and copy that number in. So I'm going to go File, Save. I'm going to close this, but then I'm going to reopen it again, uh, just to check that the number has changed. So, I'm going to go down here to the course. Uh, as we can see, it has saved because it's got the right time on it of when I saved it. And what what's this saying? Right, no, I don't know what this all this is about. Like I said, we've been moving my files around and that. Uh, what I'll do is I'll open it in KMP Cloud manually uh, so that we can do that. At least the shortcut on the desktop still works for this. Uh, file open course. Then we can check that the height is save. Hopefully it has. And no, it hasn't for some reason. So good job I copied that number in. Because uh, then we can. Uh, sort that out so right what I'm going to do is I'm going to save again not sure why that didn't work because we waited a long time uh, I'll actually just close magic Y. you can right click and exit make sure you do that before you do another one because it will mess everything up otherwise if you're doing two courses close that uh, we're just going to double check one more time and whoa didn't want audacity Oh no, oh no, no, no. Uh, right, we can close that now. We're done with that. Uh, I'll just go back and open everything up again quickly. Uh, right. No. Right, there we go. Uh, right. Games. Where are we part? We. Custom tracks. Uh, right, two. Oh, I forgot I have to go in KMP file. That's such a pain. I'll leave that there though because uh, we will need to go back in there in a minute. Um, right, let me open KMP cloud again. Hopefully this time. Uh, like I said, it's a glitch with Magic White. Either that's a glitch with KMP cloud saving. It doesn't say the height. Uh, but yeah. Uh, right, please say that this is say. Let me check. There we go. It's done. It's at the right height. Now all we need to do, it, and then we're done with this uh, custom track tutorial, guys. Uh, obviously, there's going to be a part two, but then we can play test it. Uh, so we're going to go in here. Not sure what this weird icon is down here. I'm not sure what that is. Hopefully, it's nothing bad. Of course, came P. Hit replace. Uh, do the replace it. Save and you're done. There we go. That's hopefully that's the course done. And um, we should be able to play this now. Uh, but first of all, I'm doing this for dolphin. It says in the title, I'm doing it uh, for dol for dolphin. Uh, basically for we. Actually, uh, you know, I put it for dolphin and we. Uh, for, I'm going to do the tutorial if it was Dolphin though, because Dolphin's a quick way to uh, do it without putting it on your SD card. It's a good way to test that it's working without putting it on your SD card, going all the way to your Wii and doing Revolution. Re I don't even know how you set it up uh, to play test on the Wii, but I think it's something with Revolution. Re I'm sure there'll be tutorials out there of how to do that, but we're doing it with Dolphin because that's what I use nowadays. I do still have a Wii U and I'm Mario Kart Wii, but I play it on Dolphin nowadays uh, because my Wii's been used. I have CTGP as well, but never mind. I'll just check this is all saved. Uh, so what you need, this is optional, but what you need if you're going to play it in your Wii is you need a Wii Scrubber. Uh, you'll see it says optional in the description. That's because if you don't have a Wii, you don't need Wii Scrubber. We're, we're doing it with an ISO and Dolphin, so we do. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to um, replace the track on Wii Scrubber. 
uh, so that Luigi Circuit now opens up as our tutorial track. It'll still say Luigi Circuit in the text, but uh, it is our tutorial track. So we're going to go into games, Dolphin ROMs. I'm going to uh, load up my Mario Kart Wii ROM. Make sure I get a uh, Mario Kart Wii. Uh, Mario Kart, Mario Kart Wii. There we go. I don't know why it's in the wrong order, but yeah. Mario Kart Wii. Open this up in here. I uh, go into partition. Uh, whatever that says. Uh, go into uh race courses. Beginner course, uh, that's the one we have. So we're going to replace it. If you wanted to extract it and get all the textures, like I said before, that you can then uh, have a look at and use, you would hit, hit extract and then like just save it as you would on any file. So for replace, what we need to do is we need to go into here, uh, games, Mario Kart Wii. Custom tracks. Uh, oh, tracks. Uh, written, uh, test track. Tutorial. And somewhere it will be here. There we go. Uh, ignore that warning. It just says it's saying it's been replaced with a warning. So yeah, you'd have to do that somehow with Revolution on the Wii, but I'm not sure you'd do that. There'll be other tutorials on YouTube of how to do stuff with Revolution, because loads, loads of people use that. Uh, right, I'm just going to check uh, my sound, as I don't want this to be too loud. Uh, but we're going to load up a normal Mario Kart Wii ISO. Um... Mario Kart Wii. There we go. And hopefully this will work. Ignore all the cheat code things that appear. Just because I put cheat codes on my thing, uh, it doesn't matter. It's just a drifting code and a couple of other things. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully this works and we're going to have. We're gonna not continuously fall out of bounds. I always get, I always get a bit nervous when we get to this bit. Right, we just circuit solo town trial. This is where we find out, guys. And there we go, it works. There we go. There's our track that we made. So now we can have a drive round it. Oh, and next episode. I'm going to show you how to, yeah these corners are a bit uh, small and that, but yeah. I'm going to show you how to, oh these corners are a bit, yeah. Fortunately it looks like I made the corners a bit small, but oh well. Uh, this is, oh yeah. So let's check that everything works then. Let's check that this wall works first of all, there we go, that works. And I'm going to use my mushrooms to go out of bounds and see if that works. It does, but it uh, basically spawns us out of bounds, so we're going to sort that out in the next episode. I'll sort that out. Uh, but yeah, there you go, guys. There's our track working. Right, I'm actually going to restart, then we can see the map uh, to check if that works. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if we can see the map. Uh, oh well, the map doesn't matter too much, for some reason we can't see it properly, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching guys. Uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next video, which will be out soon, uh, which will be showcasing, um, showcasing how to set up the other stuff I talked about. And yeah, uh, welcome back to the channel, and I'll see you back next time. Bye.